It's a fun, unique way to organize your child's school lunch, and it's going to cost you less than $5 to make. I like that. Right? Five bucks. That Joining good. us now is Mary Renee Lemberg. She's the multitasking mom, and she's going to show us how to make our own bento boxes. Yes. This is an um, Eastern Asian idea, and the whole idea in Japan is that it's supposed to be all about the feng shui and the balance, and they get super creative. Like, they make them look like um, animals and seascapes, and there's all themes to it. Okay. Practical moms out there. It's just <laughs> about putting the whole lunch in a box. <laughs> I like the, the, box. Box. the you're rectangle. You're the whole thing in one box. Yes, that's Square. all that you're doing. So you can get these easy boxes. Any plasticware box will work. You do want to have a square form to it. It does make it easier. Um, and you also want a lid. I have found that these that I found that click and displace hold it better and they don't flop around as easy. Okay. So you want about a, a box about this size and then if you can get small containers that are like this or you can even use silicone um, cupcake uh, cups like the liners, those yeah. muffin liners, those work great too. It depends on how deep your box is. Okay. Um, and they all build up. If you see in this in the lunch like the sample lunch and actually this is pretty much what my daughter brought to lunch today is um, I've taken roll up. So you have your cold cuts, your cheese, you roll it up and then you cut it into um, bite-sized pieces. That gets stacked almost like a sushi roll mm -hmm. and then I put a smaller fruit in the box I've stacked up the carrots, and then I've stacked up the grapes and the pretzels. Traditionally, we would throw them in baggies. We would maybe throw hummus if it's not already in a to-go container and to-go. We'd throw in the cheese stick, the banana, and the sandwich. So it's all piled It's all in kind of piled. This box. puts it all in one box. So you guys are actually going to build a box today. Let's do this. So what you do is, instead of having your sandwich in its traditional form, um, I actually, I don't bother with cookie cutters because I'm a little frugal that way. So I use a cup and I press down. What and a it's good going idea. to cut through the sandwich and it's going to leave you with a circular form. It's also sealed up the outside of the sandwich as well, so it's not leaking through. Oh, you already, okay, got it. I've already put the you peanut butter inside. So you could do it one of two ways. If your child eats a lot, you could leave the halves like this and put them in the box. Yep. Or if you're really building up a lunch with hummus and carrots and grapes and bananas and cheese stick, you can give them just half of the sandwich and you would stack it in the corner like such, or you could even stack them on top of each other, however you would like to do, Seth. There you go. Oh, Seth's eating. I don't no, blame I thought you. I heard crunching over here. <laughs> I'm crunch, cutting crunch. it to fit. I didn't have a knife with me, so there, I cut it to fit. All right. You cut it or you bit it? I, I well, bit it. either way. I cut it, it with works. my teeth. So you can add your um, grapes, you can add your carrots as Seth did, and the way that he stacked them, that's excellent. Thank you. Um, instead of just taking your cheese stick and throwing it in, this is a way in which you can get creative again. And moms out there, you can get as creative as you want. You don't have to feel like this is, oh my goodness, yet another thing for me to do is to get, is so to get creative like with my food. Work. It's having fun. It is fun. And so like your cheese stick, you could cut into smaller pieces and that could get lined in next to your sandwich. Look at how cute that is. Okay, and that just makes a cute little shape to it or however you'd like to do it. And then you can always do that with the bananas too. You can cut them into pieces and line them inside. <laughs> I you can have your banana back. I've stolen it. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And it's all about that carrots. layering. And it's also, if you think about it, if you're packaging this in a section for your child, they're getting their fruit. They're getting their vegetables. They're getting a protein. They're getting their sandwich. Um, they're having opportunity to dip. If your child doesn't like hummus, but instead they like ranch dressing or they like um, a regular uh, dip of sorts. You could do that. If your child doesn't go for vegetables, but you can get them to eat pretzel chips or pretzel sticks like I have here, um, whole grain chips, you can pop those in. Any way that you can find a fun little creative way, this is literally their whole lunch in one box for And it's for fun, you. and then all, the, all their friends think that you're the coolest mom ever. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, cool Mary Renee. Welcome. And I'm going to do this for my lunch. Hey, I'm <laughs> Katie.